Jasmine and Janiah and we're back with another video. We read articles that the hand blowers in bathroom blow out fecal bacteria. Ew. Mm. Mm. So we're gonna test it out. We have this plate right here that's test for that and it's called an EMB plate. And we're also going to be testing for staff so we have this plate. So, um, let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this and put it under the hand blower over there for 30 seconds. Then we wait. Let's do it. Okay, now you go first. You ready? I guess it's my turn now. It doesn't have any dots anymore. It never had dots. Oh. Mm. So. Now we're going to incubate it to get the results. And we're incubating it because they grow better in heat. We'll be back, back, back tomorrow. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow to show you guys the results. And yeah. So, we'll see you guys next time. Okay, remember we saw the article that hand blowers blow out fecal bacteria. Well, we're about to check the results. It's been 48 hours of incubation and let's check the results. The incubator is behind us. We're going to look at it now and I'm going to close my eyes until my mom says to open them. All right, before you do that, what do you think you're going to find? To be honest, I think only a little bit of stuff, but I don't... I don't think there's gonna be fecal bacteria, but I, okay, I think there is going to, but a little bit of stuff, so. Okay, now how would that get there? I mean, it's just blowing air. I know, but staff can be found on your hands. I know, but the blow places. dry was blowing it from inside. All right, anyway, we'll take a look That's at it. That's not with thinking. Okay, so I already put a piece of paper over it, so you can just go ahead and move your hands. And then when I say three, you can lift up the sheet and um, you can take a look at it. But, you know, really shouldn't see much blowing on it, on, you know, bacteria. But let's see what's going on. One, two, three. What? Oh. I thought there was supposed to be no I bacteria on it. I knew it. Wasn't I saying I don't think there's going to be any fecal well, bacteria? Flip it over and open it up. And I'll do it the EMDR first. So that's the one that grows the fecal bacteria. Okay, so let's open it. Let's see what it looks like. Jasmine. Oh, I don't really see much. I don't see any. Oh, I'll see a little fungus there, but that's expected. But I don't really see much on this. So the article said fecal bacteria, but I guess the one that the one that we were working with didn't blow any. But oh, wow. Okay, Stop. flip it over. But that's only a little bit. Well, you're gonna see. I mean, yeah, it grows like halophiles, like staff, but it looks like there's more than one type of organism on this plate. I think we should stain it and see what it looks like. What do you think? You want us to close it back? Yes. So, do you want to stain it, girls? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go to the lab. Now we're gonna bring you through the process of staining bacteria. First, you have a transfer loop and you're gonna heat it up with this thing. But what? first you wanna put water on it. Do you know what that thing is called? This? Mm-hmm. The back decinerator. Yep, Wait. it sterilizes the loop. Okay. All right, so afterwards you need to get some water. Okay, that's good enough. And rinse it off a little. Okay. We put a loop full on, no, put a loop full first on the slide. A loop full, right here. Okay, you have and to heat the loop up. Now you're gonna heat it up. Okay. 
Okay, and cool it in the spot of the auger that doesn't have bacteria. I'll put it there. Jasmine, don't put the plate on the lid on the table to contaminate and kind of keep it over. Yeah, there we go. And barely touch. So, which colony are you going to use? The dark one. The dark one. Where is it? Just a new one that's checking out like. Oh, but here it is, right here. That's the one I want. Just a little bit, barely touch it. All right. All right. I'm gonna close the plate, Jasmine. Here, I'll just put it on for you. Yeah, spread it out. Let it air dry. Heat up the loop. Time for mine. So mm -hmm. you have to heat up the loop. Okay, start turning on the faucet. You don't have a slide? Jordan, get a slide. Okay, go by the sink and get the water. You sterilize it and then you get the light bacteria. Don't touch it, Janaya. It's hot. Cool it first. You hear the sizzle? And then get the light colony. Just a touch, barely touch it. Okay, good. Close the plate. Close the plate. Spread it out, kind of like a nickel size. There we go. Now you can heat up the loop to sterilize. It's air dried, so now we're gonna heat fix it by putting it over this. Why do you heat fix? Bring it closer. Why do you heat fix? To sterilize it. To sterilize it. I mean, yeah, it does kill it, but you gotta make sure the bacteria is stuck to the slide. And if you don't that, stick it to the slide when you stain it, what's gonna happen? It's gonna wash off. Yeah. All right, so you can use a Bunsen burner or the back incinerator, like what we're doing. All right, so what are we gonna do now? We're gonna stain it. So let's go over to this sink. So what kind of staining method are you using? A simple stain. Okay, not gram staining this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so put the slide on the staining rack. I have to take really this off. Yeah, so. If it fell in, I would have laughed. I'm gonna try. Don't fall in. <coughs> Dang it. Okay. Take those out of the sink. All right, so Janaya, put it on the slide. Put it over the Your sink. Your slide is now. So we are going to keep the stain on for about 30 to seconds to a minute. All right, so we could keep it on for 30 seconds. That's good enough. We're using methylene blue, okay? So if it's staff, what is it gonna look like with shape? It's gonna be in s clumps like grapes. Yeah, circular. <laughs> now, we're gonna rinse it off. So, you could go first. Now time to dry it and look at it under a microscope. And I, I'll have to help you with that because you're a little short, okay? Right. Okay, watch out. 
My mom focused the slide and now I'm gonna look at it. And what did she focus it under? The slide. It was oil. You see it? Yeah. What does it look like? Looks like staff. Yeah. And it. Ooh, those are clusters of grape looking things. All right, let me show. Go ahead and look at it for yourself. surprised because that plate grows hail if I was like staff, but I'm gonna see what the other colony was on my slide. So now my slide is focused, so now let's look at it. What? It kind of looks like staff to me. It's clustered, but it, does it look like the other staphylococcus is perfectly round? No. All right, let me Mutated show. stuff? It's a different type of bacteria. Oh. All right. That is kind Well, unlike the article, we didn't see fecal bacteria, but we definitely saw staph and the staph look-alike. That's what I'm gonna call it. From now on, I'm gonna let my hands air dry. What about you, Janaya? Air dry. All right, so no paper towel? No, because that also has bacteria on it. Yeah, but I mean, I'm shocked because I only thought maybe one or two bacterial colonies. And the sad thing is, that's that plate that you grew it on only grow certain types of bacteria. If we had a regular plate, it'd probably be a whole bunch of stuff. We should check, we should check that. What do you think? Yes. yes. And also, comment down below if you want to see us looking at old slimes under the microscope. Or to culture them. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.